Hi, this is Linda Price, and I'm coming to you today to show you my journal that I posted on um, Junk Journal Junkies and a couple of other places. My Little Ace Lady by Linda, um, I posted it on there. And um, I didn't want to, I can't post this until I send this out to the recipient because I don't want her to see it before she gets it. So I'll have to hold this video a couple, a few days and uh, then I will post it. But um, I guess I'm supposed to say something about that this is for adults only and um, not for children. Mainly adults use these journals, adult ladies, and uh, they, they like this sort of thing. So um, I guess if uh, that's what I'm supposed to say. They, this is what it's for. It's for, I've sold it to um, a mother who's going to give it to her adult daughter. And um, I just uh, wanted to cover that first. But um, you can tell that um, the cover has, um, I, I use this light because then you can see the tatting a lot better. I've, I've uh, done this trim. There's about 13 of these um, little scallops on each. And then I've added one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these to the journal. And then I've, I've, I did a little um, um, addition here that I put. And I, I, I used darker, th darker thread. It's more of a natural thread and put it on a cream colored um, hand padded vintage piece of lace. And then here's my, um, this is called a medallion, this round thing. And this is called, this is one of my um, little flowers and my dangles. And I put it on a stretchy piece of ribbon and backed it to where it's very secure and you can stretch this very widely so it can be used to hold a lot of a lot more ephemera in the journal so and i used my porch prints as the main the main uh, paper but i also used um antique papery and some of tsunami rose and a few other a random pieces of um, decorative paper and this is the first page and i have a little uh, a little pocket um three three pocket little thing that i put in the i can't think of the word but anyway um, which I, I put papers in where she can, um, also do journaling. And let me put that down here. Oops. And some of my tatting up here. That's one of my little flowers. And her beautiful papers, my porch prints papers. And she also has a lot of ephemera in her kits which I downloaded and I cut out. This is Tsunami Rose, um, which I have a lot of Tsunami Rose too. I started with Tsunami Rose and the, all the papers that I use are beautiful. And here's some, I didn't, this is not tatting. These are just um, little piece, little lace trims. And I also have um, places in here where you can uh, tuck more ephemera and so a lot of these pages do have that and then this page here's another little three-tiered pocket that I put sideways and in back here I also have some papers they are mostly tatted papers that I have them on my Etsy and uh, you can download those if you like the tatting and I just thought it just makes it um, 
interesting. You don't see that type of paper very often. That's why I put it on there. And here's some more. Um, and you can see also that I, that's my favorite way to uh, put lines on my pages. I, I kept this plain because there's so much going on on these pages. So I use the cardboard, uh, corrugated cardboard that you just ink up and press down and uh, you, like a stamp. And so that's how I made my pages. And more ephemera in here. And here's another little booklet that I made out of, out of her paper. These are some of the leftover papers that I had. And uh, so that's something that can be carried around in your purse or just left in here for extra journaling. And here's a tatted trim down here too. And oh, I had some more in here. Oh, here's another page. Skip that page. Here we go. Some more ephemera. And beautiful page. I love that. And here's some more. I, just, I like the, the way you can use this part too. Also here is a booklet that I made that I attached. I attached to the journal and about 10 pages in here and then some little tag over here that you can put little maybe a few little things in there and another page of these tickets more ephemera and this this um i like this lace it comes from hobby lobby and it's very pretty and then i just added this little she also has cutouts that you can cut the roses out which i did there and added that and very pretty page too and another page to journal on and here's another opening here where you could put some more papers to journal And some more pretty ephemera. She has a lot, a lot of little small pieces. And here's a little um, guest check where you can, I folded it up to make a little tuck there. And then another piece of paper up here that you can journal on. And... This is the little bag that I added, and I put some music. You can put more things in here if you like. And uh, I like music because I'm a music teacher. I teach voice and piano. And, um, you know, I guess if you like art in one area, maybe you're good at art in another area. So I just uh, have... Um, done music all my life and I'm um, still doing it which I'll do it as long as I can and I'm having a I'm having a uh, recital coming up uh, soon but I'm gonna have about 15 students in both singing and playing the piano and some playing and combining the singing with their playing so they'll be accompanying themselves I also teach that because today in music, you know, you got to do more than just sing or just play. I mean, if you can play an instrument along with your singing, that just makes you stand out a little more. So that's what I'm teaching now, and it's been fun. And uh, um, the, the kids really, they, I mean, if, they, if they're going to practice, they're going to practice that. A lot of them don't practice, especially uh, piano 
when they as much as they should but if you get them singing with their playing they're going to practice and so i'm getting good results with that here's the little bag that um, i'm working in here and then that here and then here's one of my pages uh, from my tatting pages that i have on my etsy and um, some more ephemera, which has a very pretty page in the background. It's another one of the little roses that you can cut out, and I put it on that doily. And one of these square doilies that I love to make into pockets. There's another area where you can put ephemera. And here's uh, this is uh, Tsunami Rose. I like these tags because they're black and cream. And you can put them in with any colors. You don't have to make sure you have a specific kind of color. They, they, they go with anything. And black always highlights everything. So that was a good idea that she had. And here's some more ephemera in here. Postcard. And more ephemera here with a handwriting background pretty script and I put a pocket here and here's some more ephemera lots of ephemera in these kits and this pretty background too Sometimes I hate to cover up these pages because they're so pretty. So you have to kind of take them out and look at them too. And here's another area where you can put things. And she also has these little triangles that you can cut out and use those as tucks. Which I did. And I put all this ephemera in here. And... She has a good variety of it, all different kinds of, but they all, they all coordinate really well. More ephemera, more, a bigger piece here, and then the back ground of this paper. And I get this trim from Hobby Lobby, I bet you all know what this is. And I like it. You probably do it too. I cut it down the middle and then I can get double the use out of it and uh, use it as trim. Here's some more ephemera in here. And another belly band and more. And as you can see, I'd, I'm, I've been trimming all these pages with the tatting. And Here's another booklet that I made, and this is loose. I have it loose in here. I don't have it glued down like I do the other one, but isn't that pretty? So I just have it in here like this. And this is the back page, and here's some more places you can put more ephemera back here. And another one of Tsunami Rose's tags. And one of these guest checks that I folded up again. And this beautiful paper. And here's the back of it. And the spine. And I like to do these smaller journals because I think it really highlights the tatting. And it just uh, makes it more look, look more delicate, I think. And uh, I know I put some, I put my tatting video on recently on uh, 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 JJJ chat and uh, people, because people were asking about it. And um, it's needle tatting. I do needle tatting. I tried shuttle tatting, but my sister 
who shuttle tatted was right-handed and I'm left-handed and man if you if you have to do another hand it's so confusing I could not get it so I taught myself how to needle tat and that worked for me so maybe one day I'll try the shuttle tatting again but I'm I'm really into the needle tatting right now um, which I've uh, really enjoyed doing it's really a stress release once you get over the um, uh, the um, stress of learning it it is stressful to learn it is I'll admit that you have to have a lot of patience and fortunately I do because I just kept I was gonna make myself learn this I taught myself and I taught it uh, like 20 over 25 years ago from a book now if you if you could just imagine trying to learn tatting from written instructions pictures well there was pictures but no no videos it just uh, is, was very difficult and it took me a long time to learn it I didn't learn it in five minutes that's for sure I didn't even learn it in five hours or five weeks it took me about six months to really get comfortable with it but now since we've got videos and uh, you know things like YouTube there's so many different tatting videos on there if you if you get stuck looking at one and can't figure it out just find another one and maybe they can make it clearer as to where you you are not um, understanding what's happening in that particular um, stitch so I mean it's just so much easier now to learn which is wonderful I'm so glad because you know tatting is has I don't know if it is now because there's so many more people doing it but it was fast becoming a lost art it just um, was just one of those arts that nobody did anymore and uh, so now I'm doing trying to do my part to keep it going and um, hopefully that if you like the tatting and you want to try it you might just find something very enjoyable to to do it's easy to carry around it's sort of like crocheting but it's even smaller you can just take it wherever you go and if you have a few minutes you can sit there and just make a medallion or make a flower or make a trim like this and um, there's so many patterns out there that, that I haven't even tried because the patterns take a long time I, I'm into the short quick get it done type of tatting <laughs> and so that's that's the kind of tatting I do so um, I just wanted to show you this today and hopefully you will um, enjoy it and uh, if you'd like to subscribe I would love to have you be a subscriber to my channel and um, I have other um, a lot of other journals that I have done that that are on there too and um, so maybe you can get some ideas from some of my other journals I like color I mean I like I like some of the journals that are done that are um, very um, you know colorless off-white or white and black uh, lines and um, and maybe one day I'll do one like that I love that look but I, I just can't help just gravitating toward toward color and uh, it's just it's just something I love so well thank you very much again and um, I hope you enjoyed this I hope you have a Merry Christmas and thank you for subscribing to my channel if you have any questions just I, I, will, I will try to answer all of your questions and thank you bye bye